I didn't train Gaia and Briere to the stand because Gaia is by far uh, by far the worst behaved one. I'm telling you, this is a nightmare. Because now she's kind of upset. Get up. Just stand up. Stand. The nightmare. <coughs> and what you're gonna see today is not the worst that they behaved. <coughs> so dramatic, Ria. And today we're going to do first fresheners. If there's one thing I learned with Gaia and Brie is that it really does take training and getting them comfortable before you move on to breeding. I didn't train Gaia and Briere to the stand because I used to do their hooves as they were sitting down. They always would sit on my daughter's lap and I would trim their hooves. However, that meant that they were not comfortable with the stand. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the nightmare. I'm telling you, this is a nightmare of Gaia and Brie in the stand. I am consistently training them now, and what you're gonna see today is not the worst that they behaved. Okay, come on. Same thing with Gaia, she, I'm training her in this hand, and look what she does, she goes to the other side. No, no. This way, this way. Gaia is by far, by far the worst behaved one. She's been doing this for a while. And she still makes me do that. So, she is my not great behaved doll. However, <laughs> she's good at trimming hooves. As long as she has food, she will lift her legs and do everything I want. Now, if you don't know, it's really essential that they have a flat hoof. Uh, so no matter how much you cut, as long as it's flat, you can always do more next time. But if you don't leave their hooves really flat, then they start walking funny. It kind of messes up with a lot of other body parts. It's like us, if we're not walking properly, we're hurting some other parts of our body so eh. this girl has been so hungry since she's pregnant like I don't know I don't remember if or maybe it couldn't compare to anything when Mocha and Annabelle were pregnant for the first time I don't remember them being this hungry maybe they were and I thought it was normal but this little girl is so hungry all the time it's like actually kind of scary how hungry she's always she is being such a great girl yeah you're being good oh why did i say that why would i say that you're being good i know you're such an evil goat Note to self, I should have done this one the first. The first hook should have been this one because now she's kind of upset. I know. Your hooks are so pretty, Gaia. Really pretty. 
It's a weird thing to say, I know. But they are. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't want you choking. Hold on. Oh, and she is by far the strongest one. Good girl. You need that for your babies in that belly. If you think this is the worst, it, it isn't. Uh, as you can see, she likes to squat when I touch her at her. Yes. Look at her hooves. He's so pretty. He's so pretty. Okay, you're never gonna stand if you're not standing on your front legs. Come on. Okay, no. Then there's no more food. Get up. Get up. Come on, Gaia. Get up. I don't care that you're saying no. Come on. You can do it. Just stand up. Stand. Come on. Come on. There you go. Now you can have the rest. You're okay. If, if it's if you do it gently like if you grab onto them they get scared so the best thing you can do to train them for you to touch their otter is to barely touching it like right now I'm gonna keep my hand there she's relaxed She's just loud. She's always been loud and, you know, that's the way it is. You did great. So, the improvements we could do next time would be make sure she goes into the header and jumps on the stand and not go around. If this helps anybody out there, her mom does the same thing. And this is gonna be her third pregnancy. Mocha is the one that is easy to milk, but uh, she has a hard time jumping on the stand. I almost have to kind of lead her every time if I don't want to fight with her. And honestly, I just want them to jump in so I can lock their heads. They always have food there. I'm not trying to trick them. You know, they, they, they will get their uh, snacks and they will get their food. So it's just a matter of them wanting to go there. And at this point, I brushed her already for a while. I'll just show you a little bit of the end. It's a lot of trimming. I will do that in the spring. I'm going to shave everybody. I bought the machine. <laughs> I bought the machine to shave them. But right now, in the winter, all I'm going to do is train them. Because by training them, I really uh, make my life so much easier at the time of milking. They're going to be kidding in March, so that means that by mid-March, I'm going to be milking. Um, the days are warmer then but they still have you know colder mornings and i would hate to be struggling with them being cold and upset and not patient with them so training them throughout the winter is going to pay off in the end so okay that's a completely different goat now it's just it takes them a while and see now i'm touching her udder and she is kind of squatting a little bit, but you can see, she's just fine. Good girl. Now it's time for your sister. So we're gonna go now. I'm gonna get more pellets for your sister or whoever is next. Sure, your sister is ready. Okay, we're gonna go. 
if this is the part she hasn't mastered. We're gonna go, okay? I'm gonna lead you. I'm gonna lead you. I don't wanna push you. Good girl. she does every time it's time to come in um, she number one I have to drag her and number two she throws herself on the ground and plays dead just like Clara well Clara doesn't do it to get in here but you know what I mean when Clara is scared she does the same thing and uh, as soon as she's here eating, everything goes away. She's fine. She doesn't care that I'm messing with her hooves. She really doesn't. And all she wants to do is eat. But oh my gosh, isn't it bad? I just remember my advice, my own advice. I'm gonna do the front one that is harder. I'm gonna do it now right after I finish the back ones because yeah she is a little drama queen and I hope she doesn't throw herself in the milking stand and act like she's dead because that would be so embarrassing for a one-year-old goat who happens to be pregnant it's like good grief I am that kind of person, you know? I am. What can I say? Mm -hmm. You're good. Is that so hard? Is that the hardest thing you've ever done in your entire life? Oh my gosh, you're so dramatic, Bria. Brie. 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 You're scared. I know. Is that oh is that belly full of children? Okay, last one, okay, and then I'll give you a little treat of Selenia when you go home with your friends. I know. I'm a horrible person and you hate me right now. Makes sense. I would hate myself. Somebody was scaring me so badly. I don't know if you can see, but they're perfectly level. They have quite a bit of surface. You're done with your hooves. I know. You hate me. I get it. I told you I would hate myself. I know, sweet girl. Let me see, where am I? Well... <sighs> Please don't make me do the hard way. Mmm, yum! That's so, that is so yummy, I know. I figured, I figured you'd like it. I don't know where your brush is. Oh, there it is. You're okay. 
it's a little jumpy now. Oh, I know, I know. Life is so hard for goats, especially around here. I'm such a horrible person. Yep, get it. We can complain about me all day if you want. I can help you. You're okay. You're okay. I know you enjoy your treat. Right? Those treats for, are for the belly. See if I can uh, show you. She's really good with her udder. But uh, let me try to show you. She loves it. Look, she, she stops eating because she loves when I touch her out. She still, you can see, try to focus on there. I know. Life is so hard. And then one day we're gonna go milk, 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 the teeth. And your teeth are so pretty. They're beautiful. I show them to you why I say they're pretty. But they're black. <laughs> and she has black hair because she's a chamose, so she has a black belly. So she's standing all weird, but she's not squatting. She kind of likes when I try to milk her like milk, 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 milk. So now you know what my challenge is this winter and why I look forward to, I know, why I look forward to sunny days to trim hooves. Now in addition to trim hooves, which is something that needs to happen, I'm also putting them on the sand every day or if not every day because it's like downpouring outside and they don't even want to leave their house. And then I do it every other day. I know. I know. You're okay. Uh, <clears throat> some goats are louder than others. Some are more wild than others. And that's why I wanted to show you in this video kind of the process and how they start. And then <laughs> by the end of the winter, we'll see who was a really good student and now behaves. You're very sweet. You have your mama's face with all that white. Yes. You're very silly. Yes, you're very loud and very silly too. It's okay, the dogs are barking, it's all right. Brush your hooves. I like to dip them in water. <clears throat> There's this solution I bought some time ago and I run out of it. Uh, you just put it in like a little container and you dip their feet and it kind of makes everything fall. I can't remember the name and I'm not even sure. <laughs> That's guy out there. They cannot be separated. And I'm trying to work on that too because they're just way too bonded. And I'm hoping that as they kid, they start gaining some independence. Okay, Briar, you're done. I mean, I know I tortured you. I was cutting you in pieces. So now you can go, okay? Okay, we'll come this way. Come on. Come on, Briere. No, we're gonna go outside. Come on. Come on. You can jump out of the stand. You don't need steps or anything, okay? There you go. Good job.
So thank you so much for being here today, guys. I hope that you enjoy this video. You not only learn something about my girls and what they've been up to, how, how I'm planning to spend this winter with them and the routines that I'm trying to implement. I'm happy that we got this done today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're new, please remember to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and leave a comment down below so I can give you the welcome. If you've been here for a while, just say hello in the comments down below. I always enjoy reading your comments and getting back to you. Talk to you guys next time.